Welcome back. Our next guest is the owner of Tangled Up in Knots and describes this gorgeous artwork here as Southwestern Bohemian style. Welcome to Melissa Otero to tell us more about her line of products. Hi, hey, Melissa. Hi. Welcome. Hi. How are you doing? Good. It's oh, nice to you? meet you guys. We're happy to have you on the show. Uh, yeah, so I brought a little bit of everything. I have uh, wristlets. I have keychains. Um, these are little um, rear view mirror charms you can hang oh, cool. and then you can yeah. add essential oils. And then these are fun. Uh, you can put instant mini photos in them and hang them, and then they have a little disco ball. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Cool. They're coming back. Yeah. Disco ball on the end. Gosh, Come back. on. That's that so is fun. adorable. How did this even get started? Um, so it actually began as a quarantine hobby. Oh, okay. yeah. Yep. And Love it's it. definitely turned into so much more. Um, yeah, right when quarantine hit, I decided to leave my grad program. Okay. Uh, and then I just decided. I'll try macrame and I got like a wall hanging kit and then from there I just started ordering materials and watching online tutorials wow. and then after a few months I opened up my social media like a social media page and a website and yeah and then also during that I moved to Indiana with my fiance so this has been like a great way to learn about Indiana yeah. through markets and yeah. events and like meet people. So. Well, that's so fun. I, I, yeah. we, we do hear that often, too, yeah. the story of like, well, I started over COVID, <laughs> exactly. and now here you are. <laughs> exactly. So um, talk to us, where do you draw the inspiration from? Because Southwestern Bohemian yeah. in the Midwest is kind of interesting. It, yeah. 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 yeah, so I was born and raised in Arizona. Um, and in my 20s, I moved around to like California and South Carolina and then here. Um, but I find myself always going back to the desert. I love the palette of the desert, those like warm colors. Most of my home is uh, like thrifted and antiqued and it's a lot of 60s and 70s. Okay. So I find I draw on that palette too. And really I just create like what I would want in my home. Yeah. Cause I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, create what you love. You so, right. I mean, if it doesn't sell, then it's in my home and I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you love it. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, the detail on some of the hangings that you're yeah. seeing right yeah, here. Yeah, there's, um, so there's a few different. Um, these are just like a more minimalist plant hanger. Okay. Um, this so one cool. is a great way to use scrap cord I have to make it like really fringy. This is a double one with a prism. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That looks gorgeous. Yeah, so light. when you put it in the window, you'll get yeah. rainbows. Nice. Yeah, so I just like to play around with color. I have a lot of hats, so this is a way to have like a wall hanging slash hat hanger. Yeah. So if you take the hat out, it still looks really nice. Oh, yeah. Um, that's yeah. Clever. So cool. And then this one is actually. Uh, at Hidden Peak Collective, I brought it back just so I could bring it on the show. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I like to make wall hangings and more like practical pieces too. Um, yeah, it's just fun. I I never know like what it's I'll so make and good. it's so fun. Yeah, <laughs> fiber arts is a niche. I mean, yeah. artwork as well. It and uh, where do you want to go with your business? Um, I think eventually I would like to have like a storefront that yeah. I could also teach people how to do different projects or even just like a space for like people to meet and gather. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Well, and this weekend would be the perfect opportunity mm -hmm. to see your work in yeah. person along with other local artisans. What's going on? Yeah, so uh, at Dear Mom and Rebel Coffee on the Near East Side. There's a, it's gonna be a, a double pop-up. It's called Sing Double. It's from 10 to two and I'll be there. There's gonna be another fiber artist, someone who does um, one of a kind prints, soap making, uh, a metalsmith wow. worker. She makes beautiful jewelry. Um, yeah, there's gonna be an acrylic earring maker. There's gonna be so much stuff. Like, sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, that'd be awesome. but basically, if you need a Valentine's or Galentine's, yes. yes, or you need a serotonin boost yourself because uh, it's kind of dreary out right now. Yeah. That's like the perfect place to go. This <laughs> can bring some color yeah. and warmth to any yes. home, and we do have a promo for you guys. Yes. It's Indie Now, 10% off. Valid through the dates you're seeing there, 26, 27. Yeah. Thank you for offering. That. Yeah, no it's problem. So nice. <laughs> Tangledupinknots.com. Thank you so much, Melissa. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, best wishes with your business, thank too. You. Hey, when you get that Beautiful. storefront, come on back. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. Thank right. you. Thank yeah. you. Well, on Thursday mornings, we bring you the latest entertainment headlines. And for that, we turn to our friends over at TMZ. That's right. Michael Babcock is in today. He's breaking down everything that we need to know. Hi, Michael. How are you? Good morning, guys. I'm doing great. How are you? Thank we're you doing having. fantastic. Yeah. So, Michael, I know we're covering a few stories today. What do we have first? So, uh, Britney Spears. <laughs> Britney Spears fans were so worried about her that she canceled her Instagram, deactivated her Instagram account. And this is something that she has done a bunch of times before. I can remember now five other occasions where she has uh, temporarily stepped away from the platform. But 
this happened where she's not on Instagram anymore. And a, a bunch of her fans were worried about her. And so worried, guys, that they actually called the sheriff de sheriff's department oh, no. out here in Southern California and asked them to do a welfare check. Now, uh, because a couple of fans did call, out of an abundance of caution, the sheriff's department says that, uh, yeah, we went over there, we dispatched a deputy at around 11 p.m. on Tuesday, and they actually made contact with somebody. Now, they won't say if it's Brittany that they spoke with. I think it's far more likely that they uh, talked to a security uh, guard. But nonetheless, they went there uh, to make sure she was okay. And we're told that she's very annoyed over this, that she, you know, on one hand appreciates that her fans care about her as much as they do. But on the other hand, obviously, she sort of just hanging out at home on a Tuesday night and then to have the, the police at your door knocking is, uh, you know, a, a little startling and, and, and certainly a minor annoyance. So uh, yeah. she's, she's a little peeved uh, at, at her fans for doing what they did. Well, it would be tough to have every move analyzed like that. Yeah. However, I guess the, yeah. the good news is that she has these fans that have such a connection with her that they are just so worried. Yeah, it's, so, it's, it's not like anything I've seen before. Yeah. You know, they're like Taylor Swift, Beyonce, they have these really dedicated yeah, fan yeah. bases. But I, I don't know if anything lives up to what Compares Britney and her fans that, have. Yeah. Their heart yeah. was in the right place. Was it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what's next? So uh, TJ Holmes and Amy Robach, of course, the uh, the anchors for uh, Good Morning America for GMA3, they are headed to ABC today for mediation. Uh, I, I don't know if people have been following this closely or not, but um, they were working together and it was discovered that they actually were having a, uh, a romantic relationship with each other. And at first, ABC said, hey, no problem. But then there was some pushback from uh, from people at the network who said, hey, maybe maybe they shouldn't have done what they did. And maybe they did violate some of our policies. So ABC is now investigating. They have been for weeks. They still are. And things are contentious be between uh, Amy and TJ and ABC. So they're going to sit down today and they're going to try and work through this situation. And we're told that uh, ABC wants to at the least split them up. Now, they would like to remain together on the air. So we're going to see what happens. We have uh, also been told it is, it is very possible that uh, uh, that TJ's attorney could bring race into uh, the issue if he is punished uh, differently than people in similar circumstances have been in the past. So we'll see what happens, but it feels like this is about coming to an end here. And, you know, we're going to find out what happens. Do they get fired? Do they stay? Do they split up? Uh, those are the options. <laughs> Look at me. I'm learning about this for the first time. It does a very uh, messy situation. I, yeah. And yeah, I... <laughs> I wish them the best. That's I, terrible. Some of these things I have to know, but yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, is. Michael, we always appreciate you keeping us updated. Yeah. And I know of they can course. always go to TMZ to find the full stories there. Thank you so much, Michael. Thanks for having me, guys. You bet, Michael. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Bye. Yeah. Coming up next, actor Gerard Butler is going to tell us about his new movie, Action Plane movie, actually called Plane. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. <laughs> and we'll ask our friends from Indy Parks how you can get up close with some local turtles. Just stick around. Look at that little guy. Oh.